And from there, how do we take up on the matters of the dinar and the dirham and the eradication of riba? I would like to read to you the verse of the Quran, which at every occasion and opportunity, I will always read this ayat. Auzubillahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahi rahmanir rahim. Ya ayuhal ladina amanu takullah wa zaruma bakiya min riba. In kuntum mu'minin. Fa illam tafa'alu. Fa'azanu biharbim min Allahi wa rasulih. Wa in tubtum. Falakum ru'usu amwalikum. La tuzlimuna wa la tuzlamun. Sadaqallahul azim. O you who believe, have faith in Allah. Have real faith in Allah. Get yourself out of riba. And if you do not do so, remember that Allah and His Prophet declare war unto you and the rest of the ayah. So, ladies and gentlemen, this verse, which is Surah Al Baqarah 278 and 79, is the last verse to be revealed to Prophet Muhammad just five days before he died. In it, it contains the declaration of war on riba. And just 81 days before he died, there came the Prophet, the, 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 the angel, Malaika, yeah? uh, uh, the, the uh, Jibrail came to see the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and practice him and question him about five questions. What is Iman? What is Islam? What is Iman? What is Ihsan? What is, uh, when is the day of the Qiyamah? You know, and what are the signs of the Qiyamah? These questions, as well as the last verse of the Quran, ends with the declaration of war on riba. To me, and also, the, the uh, hadith that says that there are the two biggest sin that the Muslims can commit. One is shirik. Shirik means that you take other than Allah to have power in the world. The second one is riba. It's only the second sin. And it's the biggest sin after shirik. Meaning, ladies and gentlemen, for Muslims, especially my Muslim brothers and sisters, the answer for us to come back to is actually the eradication of riba. Now, people will say that uh, why is it, it is just an economic thing? Why is it that Allah declare war onto riba? Why? I think it is us in this century is much more informed than the people of at the time of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. At the time of the Prophet, the Sahaba was asking each other, why is it? I wish that the Prophet is still with us to explain what is the significance of riba and why does Allah declare war onto riba? Because over the term of the Prophet wasallam, there's many stages by, way, by which Allah is saying about riba, but never yet the declaration of war. And you know why? Because they were using the coinage of dinar and dirham as their, as their currency. They could not see at that stage of time that we are at the stage that we are today where all our wealth are now denominated by paper and banking system and that we are, we are issuing money out of thin air. So, to me, and I think that a lot of uh, Muslims, uh, I mean, will come to the realization, actually, that the, uh, real, the the eradication of riba is something which is very huge, and it is the kind of thing that which is going to rescue the Muslims, especially as well as the non-Muslims, because if the non-Muslims also can come come to realize that the world at large will not be able to be saved anymore, that the Dajjal is going to rule the world. They're going to rule the world. And the only forward thing that he is going to save you is when you come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the Al-Akbar. This is the only solution. Because everywhere people are looking for solutions. There are a lot of confusion. So to me, the mark of the dinar and dirham, the coming back of the dinar and dirham, it is as well as freeing the world. Because dinar and dirham also is a very revolutionary tool. It is the single most important event in the world. 
It is where all the world, the Muslims as well as the non-Muslims, will come to realize that there is no other power which is greater than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the dinar and dirham is the culmination of the world population against the Dajjal which is going to rule the world. They are the Antichrist afterwards. So the bringing back of the gold dinar and the silver dirham is a re very revolutionary uh, practice that we should be part of it. But the real Islam is not going to come in the, uh, uh, in the city centers. It will not be. You know why? Because the city centers will, according to the hadith of the Rasul وسلم, will be denominated by the world power, which is the IMF, the Zionists which is coming in. They will dominate the towns and the cities. The real Islam, so that is, we have to come back to the real faith and the dinar and dirham signal for you to come back to Allah and to have full taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that is where the survival of the real Islam is going to come back and the momentum will be, uh, will be rolling in through the dinar economy which is going on the basis of marketplace where the real wealth, when you are transacting using the dinar and dirham, the real wealth will come back to you. But how do you do it? It is through the marketplace, through trade. riba. Allah said. So this is where the wealth of the people will come, start coming back. The people who are making money because of the kind of a problem which is coming in today, they will get nowhere actually. It is not a solution. The solution for all of us Muslims and as well as non-Muslims is to realize that Allah is Akbar. And if you, if you feel that you want to compromise with this, there is no compromise. The story which Allah is relating in the Quran about Moses, where the people who are following Moses, you know, have been put to a time uh, to to a uh, to a situation where they are between the devil and the deep blue sea we will be pushed into that kind of situation where the muslims will have to say whether i go with the dajjal and their system and be happy in it or i would choose allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in which case you will have to live in a society which is going to free you from riba that is why i say that when Ibn, uh, the tafsir of uh, uh, what do you call it uh, just now saying about the, uh, the, the the duties of the sultan is to uh, the means the gold and the silver dirham the uh, the kind of solutions that we're going to have for the real islam and the real muslims will be to come back to the states to the villages to come back to islam in its real form how the wealth is going to come it is through three then the trade will bring in, if you're using Godina and silver dirham, will bring back the wealth to the people. And I would like to end my small uh, 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 10 or 15 uh, talk, uh, minutes talk here by saying that there is a surah in the Quran which uh, uh, conclude to this. You'll be uh, astonished to find that the word dula or Dawlah, Dawlah of Islam that we are trying to bring in is mentioned only once in the Quran. It is Surah al Has, verse 7. 7 or 9? 7. 7. And it says that the word Dawlah there, it means circulation, so that the wealth of the people will not be circulating among the rich, am amongst you only. <coughs> Meaning to say that Allah is pointing to the use of gold dinar and silver dirham which is going to bring in the dawlah of Islam again. With that, I would like to conclude my small talk this morning. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank you for joining us.